dear friends, I'm calling this a buttoned cow and uh, the reason is it's going to be closed with uh, two buttons. See I have them right here. They're very pretty. These used to be my great grandmothers. So my mother kept them forever. And I am uh, using finger fingering weight yarn and this is from Knit Crate. Very pretty yarn. It's a tweed and I'm using two strands held together. Now what I did is that I'm using ten and a half knitting needles and I cast it on 51 stitches. So once you cast on the 51 stitches you knit for 48 inches from the beginning and I'm going to show you how to do this stitch. It's a, the double seed. I already have a video on how to do the double seed but I'm going to show you again so you make your slip knot and cast on your stitches and I'm using an odd number of stitches so three four five six seven eight nine that will be enough so I have nine stitches there first row you are going to knit, okay. So first row you're going to knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, purl. Knit, purl knit, purl, and you end with a knit. Row number two, you are going to purl, knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, Pearl, knit, and you end with a pearl. Row number three, you are going to start with a pearl, knit, pearl, knit, pearl, knit, pearl. Knit, knit and you end with a purl. Row number four you're going to knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, purl and you end with a knit. And that's it. You repeat these four rows, and uh, it looks it looks very nice. It looks very sturdy, and uh, I know it's big needles. And you go very fast, but this is very very nice stitch. See how neat it looks. So once you knit your forty eight inches, we're going to make the buttonholes. So I'm putting my two buttons in the middle of my work because I want one corner to fall open and the other corner to kind of flip over and so I'm going to count how many stitches my button takes so if I put my button there I count the stitches behind the button and there's six of them therefore I'm going to do my buttonhole with five stitches because I it you usually do one less so it's nice and tight. So I counted my 18 stitches on one side and then 5 for the buttonhole, then 5 for the middle, then 5 for the other buttonhole, and then 18. So let's do that. We're going to knit 
until I following the same stitch I'm using on row number one so like that I know where I'm at so knit and purl until you have your 18 stitches I'm at the place where I want my buttonhole to be so I'm going to pass your yarn to the front slip the next stitch purlwise and then pass your yarn to the back. What you want to do next is slip one stitch purlwise and the last, the one that you wrapped, it goes over this one. So that's one off. Slip, pass over, and that's two off. Slip pro-wise, pass that one over, and that's three. Slip pro-wise, pass over, and that's four. Slip pro-wise, pass over, and that's five. Okay, so now what you want to do is that you want to put that last stitch on your left needle and you turn. Remember your yarn stayed all the way at the beginning. So what you want to do is now you want to cast on the stitches that you took off, which is five, plus one but you want to do it with the uh, cable cast on so we're going to go and pick up that whole stitch right there pick up the whole stitch and you're going to cast on and that is one and knit it and two and Knit it and three knit it and four knit it and five knit it and six. So now you're going to turn again you're going to put your yarn in the back and pass that next stitch the one that you have on your left needle to the right needle and that last one that you cast it on remember that sixth one because the buttonhole is five but remember you added an extra one that extra one goes over the one you had on your left needle and there you go. Now let's let's keep with the stitch. So now we're going to knit, purl, knit, purl. There we have. We need five in the middle. So that's one, two, three, four, five. We're making reinforced buttonholes, so what you want to do, and we're going to do this very slowly, put your yarn to the front, and then slip the first one on your left needle, pro-wise, and then your yarn goes to the back. Now you're going to slip that first one, wise and the one before goes over like binding off so there we go so that's one slip pro wise pass over and that's two slip pro wise pass over and that's three. Slip pro wise, pass over, 
and that's four slip pearl wise pass over and that's five so once you have those five you're going to pass that last one that you did to your left needle and you're going to turn now you're going to we, we cast it off five stitches but you want to add an extra one so we're going to make six stitches with the uh, cable cast on so we're going to put the needle pick up the whole stitch see from the front and from the back so go in between your two stitches and knit it and so that is one and go in there and two and three and four five and six now I'm going to turn and pass that first stitch on your left hand needle I'm going to put my yarn in the back pass that one pearl wise and that last one that you made that sixth one you pass it over that one so now they are really nicely reinforced and now I'm going to make the five in the middle that one counts as one the last one that that we reinforced so that is knit pearl knit and pearl now I have my five in the middle so I have my five for the buttonhole and the five in the middle so let's do another buttonhole and you're going to pass your yarn to the front pass that next one pearl wise put your yarn in the back and then you're going to slip the next stitch pearl wise and bind off so that's one slip bind off that's two slip bind off that's three slip bind off that's four slip bind off that's five okay put that last stitch on your left hand needle and now you can turn once you have your yarn there put put your yarn in the back and we're going to make our six stitches remember it's five plus one so we're going to pick up the whole stitch and make one whoops okay and two three four five and six now we're going to turn our work again put your yarn in the back pass that one on the left needle to your right needle and that sixth one that you cast it on needs to go over that one and now you're going to continue with your stitch the next one is a knit pearl knit pearl and to the end I made the buttonholes on row number one and I worked number two, three, 
four and then one and two and I'm going to bind off on row number three. You do want to make sure that you have enough space. Once your button is there you do want a little bit up here so it looks nice. You don't want you don't want to have it pulled. So you bind off. I did on row number three and I'm going to do what row number three does. So purl and knit and bind off purl bind off knit bind off purl bind off and do that until the end okay and I'll see you in a bit so I sewed the buttons and I weaved in the ends and there you have it. You can wear it with only once around your neck or twice and also over your head and I'll take some pictures of it. And thank you very much for watching and please subscribe and share us with your friends and like our page. Thank you very much.